Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be testing tons of the new Revolution Pro stuff. If you guys hadn't seen on social media, Makeup Revolution is now just Revolution. They've dropped like the makeup bit at the start and they're just known as like Revolution now, which I feel like I'm gonna get wrong because I'm so used to saying Makeup Revolution. So if I do say that, then please forgive me. Um, but also if you're new here, then you probably won't know that I'm actually part of their like vlogger team. Um, I make YouTube videos for their channel and do some like social media posts for them and stuff. Um, so I have been sent all of this stuff because you know, they send us the stuff so that we can make videos for their channel and Instagram posts for their channels and stuff like that. Um, so I've had all of this stuff for about a month now and it's just been like sitting in a box and I haven't tried any of it because I wanted to do like my first impressions on camera. It's finally launched on their website um, and I think it launches in Superdrug on the 28th of March. I don't actually have every single product here um, but I've got enough to do like a full face so I thought I would do this review because Loads of you guys have been asking me on social media if I'm gonna be reviewing it. I actually leave to go to California tomorrow morning and I needed to film an extra video before I left. Um, and I thought I would film this. So if you're watching this video, the next video after this one will be the ordinary foundation testing video. Um, I did say I was gonna do that next on my channel, but I did like poll on Twitter and you guys wanted to see this. So that's what I'm gonna do. And also just another thing, this video is not sponsored. They don't know that I'm making it. They haven't asked me to make it. All of my opinions are gonna be honest, of course. Um, just because I make videos for their YouTube channel, you know, not every single Revolution product is going to work for me, but it might work for someone else. So let's just see how they go. So I don't actually have any of the primers. I did have a little look on their website and look at like the full list of stuff. There are so many products, but I don't have any other primers. Um, so I just went ahead and used my Soap and Glory Speed Plump all day moisture marvel. There are two foundation brushes here, the stippling brush and the drop foundation brush. But I actually prefer using like beauty blenders on my face, but I am gonna give the drop foundation brush a go just cause I'm kind of interested by it. It's got a little like hole in the middle, which I think you're supposed to drop the foundation into and then like, I don't know how that works, but let's try it. Um, I did actually see that they've got a full coverage foundation on their website, which I don't have, but I do have the foundation drops, which I think come in 18 shades. So along with their foundations, which come in like little droppy uh, bottles, they've actually also got four different um, like shade adjusting drops, which I've been wanting them to make for the longest time. So they've got some lightning drops, which are almost white, which I'm extremely excited about. Um, they've got some darkening drops, drops which look like this by the way the reason that these look shiny is because I haven't taken the wrap off but the bottles of these are actually matte um, matte glass which is really nice and then they've got an illuminating one which I guess makes your foundation more glowy and then they've got an orange one um, to make your foundation more warm toned so I think these are so cool so this is the lightest shade which is F1 which I think is going to be my perfect match these kind of like correlate to the um, you know they've got their fast base foundation sticks and the concealers so this is the lightest shade F1 and then the darkest shade is F 18 which is this one here so as you can see they have a pretty good shade range they go pretty dark and pretty light which I think is awesome so this one there is shade one I do feel like that's actually going to be the perfect color for me and then I'm just going to do a little swatch of f18 as well so that one there is f18 and I'm dropping it directly into the foundation brush and that looks like it all just sunk in <laughs> I did four drops and then I'm just gonna I definitely think that four drops was not enough. That brush actually worked better than I thought it would. <laughs> I was kind of expecting like none of the foundation to come off on my face. Let's add a little bit more. I mean, it's a little bit fiddly. Three, okay, I've just done a little squirt into there. As you can see, that's pretty much my exact color. Okay, so the brush isn't bad, but I just still think that I'm gonna prefer the finish of it with a beauty blender, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm using my Sport Effect sponge, and I'm just gonna drop this directly onto my face. It's not full coverage, but it's definitely got like a decent medium coverage, I would say. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more just to see if it's like buildable. I definitely think I prefer the finish of it with the sponge than with um, the brush, but you know, it's just personal preference. So this is what the foundation looks like. Wait, let me just turn down the brightness. Um, so as you can see, it's got a pretty dewy finish. 
Um, but so far, I mean, it looks pretty nice. Like, it's got a decent coverage. Um, it doesn't look too cakey. They do have, like, these full coverage concealers in a squeezy tube. But I haven't got those yet. Um, but I do have this concealer palette. And they had a very, very similar one of these um, when Freedom was a thing. If you didn't know, Freedom is basically now kind of gone. And it's been replaced with, like, Makeup Revolution or Revolution Pro, sorry. Um, but, yeah, they had a very similar one of these with the Freedom stuff. So, I'm just going to test this out and see what it's like like i have to use my thumbnail to like take out my invisalign and it just broke my thumbnail off <laughs> third one along that one there so i'm just putting a little bit of that under my eyes something just in general that i don't tend to like about these type of concealers that are in like a palette is i often find that they're like a bit more kind of oily than other concealers so they're probably better suited for like dry skin but what I do like using these type of concealers for is when I'm doing a cut crease I mean it's not bad but it's just not my favourite they've got the loose finishing powder and they've got the pressed finishing powder this is the one that I'm using for my mirror um, I'm gonna try a combination of both of them because why not I guess it just depends on your preference like whether you prefer loose or pressed powders Ah! so I'm just gonna use the loose one to set underneath my eyes Oh, just flick it into my eye, why not? It's a very thin powder, like it's definitely different in consistency to like the ghost baking powder or something. Like it's very finely milled, as you can probably see. <laughs> and then you know what, the other side, uh, the other side I'm just gonna use the pressed powder and see what the difference is, see which one I prefer. Oh, okay, that one is, that one seems a lot more white. I feel like this side left a little bit more like actual white kind of powder on my face whereas this one was more like thin and translucent i think i'm just going to use the loose one to set all over my face i do think i prefer the loose powder out of those two um because it's definitely a lot more translucent for contour they've got um a lot of loose uh kind of contour pans and stuff and they've got highlighters and eyeshadows as well and then they're also now selling these magnetic um palettes which i think is awesome and i think it's about damn time they've got light they've got medium and they've got dark and then they've also got um some highlighter ones they've got these sensational lights and then burning lights but i actually have another highlighter palette which i want to test which is so exciting um but i'm gonna test the burning lights one just for this shade because that's kind of like a nice blush and it does have written on the back what it is which i like and then it just magnetically attaches into the pan. So I've got a contour shade, a light highlighter shade, a banana powder, and then, I mean, it's technically a highlight, but I'm gonna use it as a blush. It does look quite dark considering it's from the light kit, so I'm a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. I've literally just taken the tiny bit on my brush because, the tiniest bit on my brush because I don't wanna go too overboard. I do wish that they would bring out a lighter shade, which is maybe called like Fair. Maybe they do have one and I just don't have it. Um, because this is a little bit dark for me to contour with. Like I think it's a little bit too warm for my skin tone. I want them to like bring back, I used to love the Freedom Contour Pan in like shade three, I think it was. Okay, so it works nice as like a bronzer color, but it's definitely, I think, still a bit too dark. Like I'm having to go very, very light handed with it. And then taking the like peachy highlighter blush. I'm just putting a little bit of this on the apples of my cheeks. For highlight, these are probably the things that I'm most excited about. These are the Revolution Pro 4K highlighter palettes. They have rose gold and then they've also got gold. So these are the two different shades. They've both got like a good variety of colors um, and I definitely think that, okay, the gold one, there we go. You can kind of see the true colors when it's like angled downwards. This one is definitely gonna work for deeper skin, I think. Um, like, oh my goodness, this shade here is gorgeous. And then this yellow gold shade reminds me so much of the Fenty Beauty highlighter that everyone was like raving about. I mean, obviously they're too dark for me, as you can see on my hand, but they are so pretty. And then they've got like a light gold shade. And then the one that I love is the white one because that's gonna work best for me, but oh my goodness, these are so, so pigmented. I'm just dipping into a bit of that white. It's like a dupe for Becca Pearl. It's just that like true white color. <laughs> I feel like it's not really sticking to my 
skin. Like it's not really sticking to my nose. For some reason it just didn't want to stick to my nose. I think because my face is completely matte. Um, so I feel like it might work better if you like spray your brush with some setting spray or something. They've got all of their different brow pomades, which obviously Makeup Revolution had before um, and Freedom had before. So I think these are just kind of to replace the Freedom ones that are now non-existent. I'm pretty sure they've been discontinued. Um, I have every shade here apart from the shade Taupe, which is the one that I need. I don't know whether it was an accident, but I've got two ash browns and no taupe. I have used medium brown before and I do sometimes use that. So I think I'm just gonna go for this one. It's got a matte lid that says Revolution Pro and then in Inside it just looks like this, so that one is medium brown. I don't know whether it's just because I've opened up a new one, but the texture of this one seems softer than um, the other one that I've used by Makeup Revolution, but then this one is fresh. I think maybe my one might have dried out. Although Revolution team, if you're watching this video, um, firstly, thanks and hey, but secondly, please, please, can we bring back the um, the Freedom Duo brow powders? Because I love them so much, but I think they've now been discontinued. I like this a lot. I have got their Revolution Pro palettes, which I have to say, I have actually tried these. They are really nice. They've got a full-on matte brights one. Um, they've got one called Gold Mine, which is loads of gold shades. They've got a more colorful one that's got mattes and shimmers. And then they've got one called Mirage, which is a load of warm shades. And they've got one called Unleashed, which is more of like a burgundy palette. They've got so many nice palettes, but I kind of want to try the individual ones because I've tried the formula of these and they're really, really nice. So those are some of the matte shades. They're just really, really pretty palettes. And okay, I've run out of places to swatch here and my hand is covered in highlighter. Um, but yeah, they're just really nice palettes. I have played around with them a little bit. They've also then got these smaller palettes, which I think look so pretty. Um, these are called the Supreme Eyeshadow Palettes. How pretty do these look? They've just got a really cool pattern in them. And let's do a couple of swatches of these. Oh. Oh. Look at that purple shade. Look at that. Holy crap, these are so pigmented. This one here in Bewitch, look at these shades. Okay, if these are as pigmented, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I have never seen anything like this from a drugstore makeup brand. What the hell? Those are so pigmented. Another thing that they've got are these individual shadows that also go in the magnetic pans. They've got like a variety of different shades, some neutrals. Um, they've got some more kind of like orangey tones. And then they've got um, some pressed glitters. Hello, I'm gonna be testing these because they look insane. Okay, so I've used Glisten here. I've used Glisten Up, which are both of the glitter ones. And then I used the uh, set, which is called Tame. And I've put them into this little palette right here on the side, which looks really pretty. So I'm just gonna start with this one from the Tame set as I transition, and then I'm gonna go in with this one. And then I think I'm gonna use some of these small palettes as well, but let's just start because I've been blabbing for ages. I just got too excited about the eyeshadows. Ooh, that's a pretty nice transition shade. Okay, and then going in with the darker orangey color. They're blending really nicely, as you can see. I'm gonna use this little palette here, which is called Allure, and I'm taking the dark brown from here, and I'm just gonna put that on my outer and inner corners. Oh my god, these little palettes are so pigmented, it's actually insane. Okay, right, so now that it's super messily applied, and then going back in with my blending brush, which is nowhere to be seen. And I'm just gonna blend out the edges. I would say just use these shadows sparingly and build them up because I think I actually put too much on that now, like trying to blend it, it's just got a little bit messy. And then taking this purple shade, and then taking this really cool like iridescent purple color here, just because I want to test it. And I'm going to put this on the center of my eyelid. <gasps> oh my god, look at that. It's like purple, but it's got blue in it as well. I do feel like that shade would go on better with like some Fix Plus or something, cause like, I don't know, it doesn't quite stick. 
but like, oh my gosh. I don't know whether I'm supposed to like prime my eyes with glitter primer first. Let's take a flat brush and see just how they apply. I'm taking this really like crazy colored one here, which is all like duochrome. It's like purple and green and blue. And I'm just gonna try and put this on my eyelid as it is. Yeah, I do think for these, like the glitter has come off, but I think it would work so much better if I put some glitter glue on. So I'm just using my next glitter primer. Yeah, that definitely sticks a lot better, but oh my God, these pressed glitters are so cool. How awesome is that? So this is what it looks like. It's literally like pure glitter on my eyelids, which is awesome. And it's such a cool color as well. Like you can see when I'm slightly out of focus that it reflects like lots of different colors. I'm then testing the Revolution Pro eyeliner pencil. Um, this is a gel eyeliner pencil, which sounds cool. Oh, and it's really skinny. It's a super skinny gel pencil. I'm just gonna use this to line my waterline. Like when you twist it, it actually like gel eyeliner comes up through the top. Okay, so they don't have any mascara or lashes, so I'm just gonna go off camera, do my lashes, finish up, like do a bit of eyeshadow along the bottom because I'm taking way too much time and I'll be right back. Okay, so the final stage is the lips. By the way, the mascara that I used is the Kiko Into the Dark Mascara. And then for my lips, I'm just gonna pick one of these shades at random and put it on because I can't be bothered to pick. There's so many different shades of these Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigments. So I think I'm just gonna go for this one because I have got so many to choose from. Ooh, nice packaging. Okay, they don't smell of anything, they're unscented. They're really nicely pigmented. It doesn't seem to be the type of lipstick that like dries down. I think it's literally just like a um, kind of liquid lipstick in a tube, but it's not sticky at all. So I just tied up my hair because it's really annoying me and I don't know what it is about this look, but I'm just really not feeling myself. Like, I think it's because the lip color like doesn't really complement my skin tone. I don't really know what it is. Like, am I not bronzed enough? I just feel like I look really pale and like, I don't know, I'm just not really feeling it. However, the actual makeup itself was really good. I'm gonna try a different one on. Visionary. There we go, that's better. This is just a little close up. Okay, I think the shade is a lot more flattering on my skin tone. Like as much as I love a brownie nude, when they're too orange, I just feel like they make me look ill and I think that's what the issue was. Okay, so that is everything for this review. My camera battery did just die, but I've literally been filming for two hours. I'm done with this now, I'm hungry, I need to go pack my stuff to go away tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that is my overall review of this stuff. I mean, they have some really cool new things and they're still really affordable, so I think that's great. I'll leave it all linked down below. Um, but yeah, I think that is pretty much it from me. I really hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more like drugstore makeup reviews, then make sure you subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!